guess who's back? I'm in the new workshop behind the new pegboard wall. I am so excited and I'm already starting on my first tombstone. Thought everyone would like to see a quick video of the new digs here in Texas and how I've set up the new Terra's Lair in Texas. We're now living on six acres, which is a lot of land for tots to navigate to do trick-or-treating. So that's the reason that we're not going to haunt anymore. But it's very pretty out here and glad we moved. Um, yeah, before I show you the workshop, I thought you'd like to see a little bit of the house. This is the front door. And to the left is the thing that hooked me. I'm not sure if a lot of people know, but I'm very much into cooking. And this kitchen with the incredible stove, double stove in the hood. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. But that's not important right now. I mean, it is, but it isn't because let's show you the workshop. All right, so we're going to turn around here and go down the hallway and we're heading towards the garage, but if you go to the left is a spare bedroom. And there it is. <laughs> Look what the hubby put together for me. He put that shelf above the window so the hellhound can take residence in here. And up there are the old signs that we had from the haunt. I get to look at them every day. Yay. <laughs> and uh, the gigantic pegboard. Um, I really crammed a lot on there. I used to have a basement, and, and now I just got a little spare bedroom. But actually, everything is up there. Just had to be a bit more smart about where put where to put everything. And the workbench still fit in there. We took the closet doors off. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, you get a little creative. It's amazing if you're highly motivated what can happen. Oh, and I have somebody that has moved in with me. That would be the hubby. And so this is his corner. And uh, he has his passions as well, as you can tell. He's still figuring out what he's going to do with his pegboard. And um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Tara came along for the ride. So she's up there to keep an eye on everything and make sure that, uh, you know, I do everything to her specs. You know, she could be pretty demanding. <laughs> And up here is just a final look at uh, how the hellhound looks when you're standing and looking up at him. Yee. Glad I brought the uh, lava spikes and the chains that I made last year. It actually kind of decorated that area up pretty good. So this is what sold hubby on the house was the view of the Texas hill country in this backyard. But I told him, you are taking care of the yard. I am not. That thing is huge. <laughs> Well, I hope you liked the quick tour of our Texas digs. Loving the move so far. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Look for some more videos soon. Bye.